Hello everyone, Vasive here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. 7. Hey guys, could you tell us that I just literally woke up from a nap? I was <laughs> I woke up at 2 a.m. And uh I went to work really early because I woke up. And uh so I was working and I powered through like all the way through 2 p.m. And <laughs> running on an hour of sleep and I was fading hard and I had to stay to 2 p.m. because uh, th there was a big meeting I needed to be a part of and right afterwards I I crashed I, I passed out um, and so now now I am groggy but we are here we're playing some more Final Fantasy 14 um, if you guys can see look at my little outfit um, I spent a bunch of time doing some uh some quests or not quests um skills jobs the uh like whatever these things the gathering stuff because i was finding fun and i don't know if that would be boring to watch on stream so that's what i was doing um but um i went to go equip my botany thing and apparently i sold something that i needed which sucks i hope it wasn't something i really needed so I have to remake it, which I'm not a fan of. Hopefully I still have this stuff. We have a cookie time. Hold on a minute. Cookie time. It's Lonnie. Holy crap, my friend. Do you want a cookie? Come get it. Come here. Oh, there's a Jada. Oh, look, there's a Jada. Take a photo cookie. How you doing, my friend? Welcome back. Are you, are you back from a uh, vacation? Did I sell my hatchet like an idiot? I sold my hatchet like an idiot. How did I do that? It's fine. At least I can just come to this botanist guild and probably buy another hatchet. At least I hope so. Or, or can I make one? What would that be? Would that be carpenter probably? A weathered saw registered. Oh, okay. So yeah, that was fucked. Recommended gear. There you go. Okay. So I'm gonna fix these. Um, let's see. Can I make a, I need a hatchet. Oh, that was scary. Welcome back. Your steadfast <gasps> loyalty is greatly appreciated. Oh, and you murder them. To see hype, to see hype, to see hype. Why did it say to see? That's not how that works. Hold on a minute. New boss. Oh, I can type. My, my fingers are not awake. Lonnie, thank you so much for the sub, my dude. Six months. Six heckin' big ones. There's something. What happens at six months? I don't remember. Something happens at six months. Oh, you get a free gift sub. Um, let me know um, if you have a target and we will give a dear friend of gift sub in your honor. Thank you so much for the continued support, my friend. But more importantly, it's time to hail the new stream boss, Lonnie. Thank you so much for the continued support, my dude. I appreciate the heck out of you. How you been? How was your vacation? How was your vacation? Longbow shield. Do I not make an axe with these guys? Okay, maybe I don't make an axe. Um, would it be, would it be an armorer? No, blacksmith maybe. Hatchet, here you go. Okay, I can't do anything here. Oh, maybe, maybe it's in my completed list. Maybe not. Oh, and I can't get maple lumber. That was loud, holy crap. Vacation just kids is not a vacation. Uh, yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> I just use that word to make me feel better. Oh, I love it. <laughs> what if I don't want to play with you? Well, you don't have to, Josh. Not at all. I sold my hatchet. Don't like that. Don't like that. Give me a stinking hatchet. No, not you. Ah, oh, fuck. I sold my hatchet, apparently, on accident. God damn it. Who are you? Are you? You're a player. Can you give me a hatchet? Fuck. And I deleted it. Fuck! How did I do that? I'm a dumb. All right, let's run over here, I guess. See if I can hopefully buy a hatchet over here. I have to grind 60 fates for each boss, for each clip, ah, for fighting. Wait, for like an achievement? Yeah, but I'm nowhere near the market stalls. There's a shop. I had to sell crap because my stupid Armory bank thing got full. Oh, stupid miner. 
No, man. God damn it. How did I do that? Wait. I'm assuming the buyback disappears after some time logged out. Yep. Fuck. Yep. I don't have a hatchet. I really screwed the pooch on this one. Fuck. That's annoying. I did a big dumb. Oh, that's your next step for an artifact weapon in each class. Holy crap. Yo, I'm assuming artifact weapons look really awesome. I might have to go all the way over here. God damn it. Peekaboo. Eh. Dicks. It's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal at all. Oh, there's the moments. You drove nine, ten hours a day? Nice, yes. Please go rest up. Thank you so much for the sub. Rest up, my friend. It's good to see you. Okay, let's go buy shops. I don't need any of this. Although, this would probably be the ideal place to level up, like, cooking. Because there's a bunch of crap here that I've never seen. <clears throat> Tinker. Apothecary. What are you? you? You're die. You're a repair person. Hey, here's a culinarian. Orange juice. That sounds delicious. Piety, vitality, hit rate. That gives an XP bonus for 30 minutes. These all give XP bonus for 30 minutes. Maybe I should buy some raisins. Yo, eating gives XP bonuses. Maybe I should eat some food while doing this. That sounds like a big brain move. You're not going to have it, right? Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah, tool. Here we go. Can Finally. Have, uh, more it's a birch. Calamari, please. And a crimson. How's it going, friend? Welcome to the stream. Uh, purchase land tools. I don't know what level botanist I am. 17. Hatchet. I want to buy this. Wait, I can't equip that? Why? Botanist 12. I thought I said I was 17. Hold on. I'm a level 17 botanist. Why can't I use a level 11 hatchet? I'm very confused. I'm buying it anyway. Did it not go in my inventory? Oh, what's that? Wait a minute. Hatchet. Why can't I use... I'm very confused. Someone needs to explain that. Because I am a level 17 botanist. But I can't use a level 12 hatchet? Why? Something's broken. Also, what happened to my scythe? Dude. Um. I'm missing some of the stuff that I had. Hold on. Okay, so they're all okay. My botany's the only one that's broken. Why, why can't I equip? Now I can. Bruh. That... What? That was a weird bug. That was very weird. Okay. Then we have to save this. It's a botanist. There we go. Okay. We're okay now. Dude. I have no idea why I couldn't equip that. But we need to teleport again, so we're gonna go back. Yeah, back to more some more Final Fantasy. Figured I would look more into the professions and stuff because I was having some fun. Um you like my little outfit? I made some stuff. It helps with me gathering things. My first hatchet, what do you want? Uh deliver a length of maple lumber. Oh, it's a gathering effort. Nice to forget. Latex can be uh, just outside the blue badger gate at the yellow serpent gate. Um, I thought I had latex, but apparently not. Damn it. Yellow serpent gate. Okay, I think you can do this. Logs. Gathering. Latex. Here you go. I am coming over here. Materials don't expire, right? At least for the most part. Because that would suck. Eh. How you doing, Birch? Let's go smack this tree. Sure, I'll have some elm log. Actually, wait. I did the wrong button. It's fine. Turn on my sneak. I don't want any boys to come after me. Eating some food before homework and games? Nice. Oh no, don't get stuck. Oof. Fuck. Eh. Here we go. Okay, so I need to get... Level five, I need a bunch of latex. Also, I need maple lumber. So let's get a bunch of this. 
I already have... My quest says I already have 10 latexes. Why couldn't I give them to him? God fucking damn it, dude. Is my game just bugging out? Dude, like seriously, even the gathering professions are fun. How's my day been? Ah, oh, just fine. I... I woke up at 2 a.m. and I was up for a very long time. So... I woke up... Like... 20 minutes ago from a nap. Give me my super sweet maple logs. Okay. I'm going to go back home. And then I'm going to go to the botanist guild. Why can't I use this? There it goes. We're doing things. Okay. Then we go this way. But yeah, forest golf. Whoa. Okay, Gara. Oh. Because I was on a different inventory tab. I didn't know that was a thing. It's fine. Look at her checking on my latex. Oh, yes, precisely. Ten pots of latex, just as I instructed. You have done well. Latex is easy to find and equally easy to harvest. As such, collecting this stuff is an ideal task for young botanists who are learning their way around the hatchet. Yet, yet know that being able to swing said tool does not make you a botanist. You must also possess the knowledge to locate resources you seek. That will be all for me for the present. I urge you to keep honing your senses and skills as a botanist. Gather near and far and learn from your experience. I look forward to seeing you again when you have become acquainted with the trade. Till then, I bid you happy gathering. The next botanist quest is available at level 5. I can do that right now. I like that they had to make special models and stuff for anyone with ears and stuff. They really did take the time to do that stuff. Another task for me! Hello, Dan Faith. I'm told you've been putting your hatch to good use. Well done. Yet, as I mentioned, be mentioned before, hacking away trees does not make you a botanist. You must also strive to deepen your understanding of nature. I say this in the knowledge that you have done just that. Whether you realize it or not, you have the air of a woman who is at ease with the world around her. I do believe, I do believe you are ready for your next task. I would like you to go to Tree Speak and there harvest 50 pots worth of maple sap. Fuck! Once you have enough, pray deliver the sap to Sicily. She will be pleased to receive it. Off you go now, Faith. Fifty pots of... Dang. In tree speak. Okay, logs. Gathering. Maple sap. Tree speak. No, no, fine. Spend the money. Okay. Let's go make us some heckin' maple sap. Dude, a smart person... Would go get to level 20 so I could get a chocobo. But I never said I'm a smart person. Oh shit, uh, am I not in sneak mode? No. Shit. Oops. Go away. I need to be in sneak mode. Go away. Still chasing me? What a dick. There we go. Oh, that was loud. Okay, I need lots of maple sap. Holy crap, that's a lot. Although, can't I just buy this and give it to him? Would that count? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. It's like, oh yeah, I totally harvested this. Totally didn't just buy it from the person down the road. Oh, that sound when you get a high quality sounds like you broke something. It sounds like a, it sounds like a failure sound to me. Yeah, that sound. A little ladybug. Oh, there's a repair person right here. Which apparently, just using gear causes, like, any action you do. Apparently, this is one of the help texts I got when I was doing some of these jobs. Was, uh, any action you take, uh, causes durability loss on all your gear. Which sounds annoying, but I think it kind of makes sense. Oh, two trees right next to each other. Love that. Man, this, just doing this is super relaxing. Like, I'm ready to go back to sleep. <laughs> All right, just over halfway. Oh, this has the, uh, not the consistent, the bonus, or if you do the same thing multiple times in a row, it gives you a bit of a bonus. That's pretty sweet. Ow. I keep something's with my um my chair. There's like no padding where I normally lay my elbow. 
and there's something sharp underneath it and it sucks do i have a profession i like the most um i don't know i mean they're all kind of fun um i like botany i don't know if, i mean some are harder than others that i think i've already found which kind of sucks and i think weaver i was just able to upgrade because i had a bunch of crap so maybe that's why i'm feeling partial to weaver but I, I like botany because you know it brings me out in the woods and i collect stuff and like miner and stuff is always by rocks well i suppose there could be mine nodes here all right just need three more done okay i need to deliver the pots oh i'm actually not too far away i'll just yeet that is connected right oh some murdered squirrel right in front of me We'll just smack some trees along the way. Get some materials. Let's get a maple log. Yeah, and I really like what they did. Like, it's not boring. Like, oh, I gotta go smack on this vein over here. Hooray. It's, it's like, there's all sorts of crazy interactions and stuff you can do. It's awesome. It's crazy because, like, the original Final Fantasy XIV online was a huge flop and causes... Square Enix to lose a crap ton of money and then they put someone else in charge and uh, its release was pretty much a success but it it helped pull Square Enix back from the brink of bankruptcy it's crazy to think about go for something that was completely failed to actually quite a success very well done here you go I bought you some stuff I don't quest for maple sap well, then your best bet is to search for the vicinity of the tree's peak. I happen to be waiting for a delivery of sap myself. Why be a partner's task for supplying it? Yeah. Here you go. I got you a bunch of stuff. Ah, the maple sap I requested. Then you must be the new botanist. Fufuka has been fussing over. Ah, but where are my manners? Thank you. Hmm. Why do I need so much of this stuff? But allow me to explain. It's the very least I can do after all you've done. She's got creepy serious eyes. Boiling maple sap causes it to thicken into a sweet syrup called, aye, you've guessed it, maple syrup. From maple syrup, you can make maple sugar, an ingredient used in various recipes, particularly confectionery, from cakes and tarts to toffees and cut chocolates. In short, all the things that children love. You've probably guessed it by now, but the maple sap you harvested will be used to make sweets for the children, those poor souls who, be orphaned by the, who were orphaned by the calamity. Oh, that's nice. They put, they've been put on a brave faith, but their eyes revealed the Depths of their sorrow. There's precious little joy left in their lives. But Bagania hasn't... Won't abandon them. No matter your walk of life, there's always something you can do to help. Though it may only last a fleeting moment. A single smile there is worth all the effort. All those persons are very kind. M my apologies, I got carried away. Now where was I? Oh yes. In addition to the maple sap, we bought and gathered various other kinds of foodstuffs. As such, we work quite closely with culinarians. Culinarians, those disciples of the hand who excel at cooking. We're also good terms with woodworkers and weavers, as both are reliant upon us to supply with the lumber and fiber they need for their respective crafts. As botanists, it behooves us to learn what manner of materials are used in crafting. There's no better way to do so than firsthand. If you have an interest, you might consider dabbling in one of the dis disciplines out there. I also urge you to make a habit of reviewing the gathering log as your knowledge of botany grows. More of its contents will become comprehensible to you. Well, I'd best see the maple sap. It was lovely talking to you. For every fifth level you reach as a botanist, you will gain the ability to detect higher level mature trees and lush vegetation. When this occurs, it, any new items that are available through gathering will be added to your gathering log. Oh, you can also use the arbor call to help you locate. Yeah, I knew that. I don't actually think I need any of these. All my stuff I have is dope as fuck. <laughs> I'm wearing clogs. Dun 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 dun. Oh, Faith, you couldn't have come at a more opportune time. I have a favor to ask you. We have just received an urgent request from the owner of the Twin Adder. They ask that we supply them with 99 crow feathers as soon as possible. What? That's going to take forever. Crows often leave behind feathers where they perch, which can be used to make arms and armor. The situation must be grim indeed if the order has in need of such a large amount. They're making arrows? It would not... It would not do to keep the defenders of our nation waiting. I would be most glad if you could help us fulfill this order. Crow feathers can be found in abundance in the area of the Gilbert Spire. Once you have procured 99, promptly deliver them to Cicely. 
I've given her charge over our stores. My thanks in advance. Uh, logs, gathering. Can't hawk feather. There you go, crow feather. Here we go. Here we go. Let us go. That way. Hey, Audrey. You kind of look like that mama lady. Mjorn. Mjorn. However you say her name. Crow feathers. Fuck. This is going to take forever. I think you could buy them. Quite possibly, anyway. Turn that on just in case. Someone's doing something next to me. Oops. Oh. I need to not be looking at that. It's throwing me off. I want one of these salamanders as a pet. This person's just going ham. This person's name is Butt Stuff. Name level 18. Can I wear anything else? Nope. Oh, started spacing out. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you the snores and. And I really like that the, uh, the gather points, like, respawn so quickly. Yeah, see, one just spawned right next to us because I finished one. That's super cool. They're, they've done a really good job at keeping you from feeling like your just time is wasted. I mean, technically, this is just, like, wasting time anyway. Just I could probably just go buy these feathers. But it's not like in WoW where it's like, oh, great. I have to go to a whole new area. That's going to take me a 20-minute literally just run. <sighs> That's boring. It's like, oh, it's time for me to level up my stupid mining. Gotta go run around this area looking for nodes. And this one's like, oh, guess what? If you're just working on your profession here, it's just gonna keep popping. It's good. Especially since there's so much to this game. They they didn't they don't pull the bullshit at least so far that I I found of wow where they started doing stuff. It's like, oh, we need to convince people or do bullshit grinding stuff so people have to stick around and re-up their sub so we just get more money. It's like, that's not content. That's that's just time buffer, which is stupid. I hate that. And so far, this one doesn't seem to really have that. They want you to feel like you're making progress no matter what you're doing. And that, I am all for. More than a flesh wound. Also, there's a lot of play on words and stuff for quests, and I love it. Oh, I should have checked to see what it would take for, uh, me to make a, a higher level hatchet. Actually, I bought one. Never mind. I'll be level 20 with it shortly. And then maybe I can make a new one at that point. Also, Josh, if you're still here, question. I'm assuming there's, like, market quests or something, whatever they are, or leave requests for gathering stuff. Is that true? You love culinary in the most? That makes sense. I kind of figured you would really like that one. That one's hard though, dude. It required, like, I started looking in that one. It requires so many materials. And most I haven't even seen yet. I haven't figured out fishing yet. I tried to fish somewhere and it was like, huh, nothing bit. The bait you're using might be wrong for the area. It's like, um, I don't have the patience to figure out which bait works where, especially if I only have one bait. <laughs> I don't have that kind of time to figure that out. I don't have time to become a masturbator. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Welcome to Village Faces Plays, everyone. Clyde Strafe? That's funny. Hey, we ended on 69. Nice. <sighs> Over there. Valentina Lockhart. I have a person with the last name Lockhart. Oh, right next to me. Love that. Josh, by the way, what was your, um, your Maya he joke the other day that I ruined? <laughs> We're almost done. I'm getting ever so closer. Smart person would have actually picked up all the other quests for the people because then I could just probably knock out a bunch in an area. Oh, well. Uh, although be difficult to track them because you have to be in certain gear to see what you need it's fine we just vibing and hanging out i need one more it's fine it's gonna give me a perfect one isn't it nope cool we're good i'll pick up some logs 
Man, this fucking short hearth is amazing. Hello, friend. I bring you a big bushel of feathers. Hey, chat. What weighs more? 100 pounds of feathers or 100 pounds of hammers? You're helping us out again? My thanks, friend. In case you've forgotten, the crow feathers can be found in the area south of Gilbert Spire. Yeah, I already did it. Here you go. I, I just put the feathers in a, a little cup. Ah, oh, the crow feathers. You have me thanks. Doubtless you already know this from Fufuka. But it's the order of the twin hunter that requested these feathers. If it are the truth, they are in the midst of preparing for war against Six Out. The crow feathers are needed to make arms and armor. Feathered harpoons, plumed you crooks, and the like. It's a fine feeling being able to do our part to aid those men and women who defend our nation. But to need the feathers... But to need the feathers in such large quantities, it gives me pause to imagine the bloodshed that lies ahead. Will the Twelves would ever know true peace? Oh, but there I go again with my wistful ramblings. Feel free to ignore me. Now, before I forget, Fufuga asked me to give you something on her behalf. A scythe. Thank you. The scythe is what we call a secondary tool. Use it in your offhand. It allows you to harvest from lush vegetation. In addition to the mature trees you already know so well. That Fufuga has seen fit to make you this gift is proof of... It's proof positive of your progress. You're no longer a novice, my friend. I dare say you're ready to try your hand at fieldcraft levies. Perhaps even take on grand company work. But first, I recommend you head into the wood and find some lush vegetation to try a new scythe on. Off you go now, and come back when you're ready to take on another task for the guild. Sweet. Making net moons. Also, the answer is feathers way more because you need to think about what you, whatever it is you did to all those poor birds. Ah, my dear face, you're looking even more. Partners, I do believe you are ready to make take on further responsibilities for the guild. Guilds such as ours exist only by virtue of the cooperation of the members. Each individual must set an example for the rest if the collective is to thrive. The time has come for you to set, set just such an example. She has butterfly wings. She actually looks. Oh, her her ears made it look like um antennae. She looks like a butterfly. A matter has arisen, the handling of which I would entrust wholly to you. You may deal with it as you see fit, providing you see the problem solved. The matter in question concerns a valued client of ours, the merchant Elbgast, who would appear one of our number, has done something to upset him. Please seek out the merchant at the Ebony Stalls and inquire about the reason for his ire. Oh, and choose your words well, that you add fuel to the fire. Okay, where are we going? Oh, sick. I can just teleport over there. Other workers killed. Yoink. El you. Whoa, look at that weapon. Fufuka said you, did she? Good. I'm not a man of convinced words, so forgive me if I seem blunt. You know that? You know what Majorum is? But of course you do. You're a bleeding botanist. It's a very common ingredient in alchemy, isn't it? Very common. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't you botanists supposed to be the experts in harvesting such stuff? Yes, you are. Strange, then, that the expert who brought me these last batch of fresh marjoram didn't see, didn't so much harvest the poor plants as dismember them. Why the leaves were so torn up, I couldn't recognize what they were at first. Needless to say, they're next to useless. So, thanks to your herb-hacking colleague, I have no marjoram to make my concoctions, which is why I inquired at the guild. Only be told you were out of supplies. And here we are. Now, if it ain't too much trouble... I'd be obliged if you could bring me 10 sprigs of fresh Majorum. In fact, only Majorum of the finest quality we do, as opposed to the fine bleeding puree your bush butchering colleague delivered. Truth be told, I don't care much about your hatch happy friend. What I do care about is not keeping my customers waiting for their medicine. In short, hurry. Oh, and for the love of the gods, be gentle with the plants, will you? I shouldn't have to say it, but after the last bloke, I'm not taking any chances. I'm guessing it wasn't actually a botanist. Oh, I need special ones. Damn it. Because I actually think I have a bunch of those. Oh, gee, the no scratchums. I got just a judge no no scratchums. Get advice. Oh, that gets a bunch of something. I got you, friend. I'm not in my gear. Hold on. I heal you. Yeah, me helping. There you go. Look, his chocobo's helping him. That's awesome. 
Okay, so I need to use this to up the chances of getting these. This is gonna take a while. In any case, I'm gonna crap have a crap ton of this very soon. Actually, I might hit 20 by the time I finish it. I mean, I will get to another quest. Neat. Also, I haven't gotten a single one yet out of eight or 10 hits. There it goes. Oh, shit. I have um that circle of leather. I could have uh, delivered that when I was at the Leather Workers Guild. Ah, it's fine. There we go, two in a row. You can get a little frog. Damn it. Not a single one. Crap. I'm out of woo power. I have to wait for it to recharge. Come on, I just need one more GP. There it goes. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a scary sound. Leave me alone. I did it. Sweet. Ooh. I get another quest. The Twelve's Bounty increases elemental shard yields by two. Oh, that's cool. Because it was like worthless getting elemental shards from harvesting. Cannot be executed to gather. You know it does not yield shards. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, increases it by two as well. So you get three. Sick. Just need one more. There it is. 120 seconds. I can wait two minutes. Let's go harvest some stuff. What do these trees have? Ah, sure. Take some home log. I'm sure that'll come in use in the future. Although there is a giant crystal right there. I could just teleport. But I'm not gonna. Also, I just hit 20. Do I have new and better gear? Nope. <laughs> My freaking professions are almost the, uh... <laughs> My professions are actually... This profession is higher level than my main <laughs> um combat profession that's that's funny sure let's get some red onion chestnuts and since we only have 20 seconds i'll just go grab this real quick 416 leafy papa madre nana pajaro oh fuck i went to the wrong spot love the workers guild might as well turn in the the quest i have over there too mm -hmm. If I can find it. Here you go, buddy. I bought you your stuff. Did you get the Benjorum? The herb is said to grow around the matron's lazy. Lady. Though I hardly need to tell a botanist that. This. Do hurry. I'm keeping dozens of customers waiting. Here you go. Ah, the Majorum. And such fine specimens. I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time, friend. Thanks to you, I can get back to making Echo Drops. Do you know of Echo Drops? They're an alchemical concoction that restores voice to silence lips, allowing the imbiber to cast spells again. Neat. Conjurers and th thaumaturgers never leave home without a bottle of or three. But I must say again, there are some of the finest specimens of Majorum I've seen. And they're none the worse for, pick for the picking. It's clear you know your way around a plant. As for your colleague with the heavy hand, I'm certain your guild will deal with him appropriately. Thanks again, and send my regards to Fafuka. Sick. Okay, so let's change my, my class to this real quick. So I can turn in this. Yes. I like my little blue bandana. That guy's name is Fur Noodle. I could go for some fur. That sounds great. Hey, I have your leather. Isn't the leather ready yet? When you're finished, bring it here to the inspection. See Osgus if you like the necessary materials. No, I'm not giving you my special leather. You can have the crap leather. Ah, oh, yes, indeed, leather. Oh, wait. I think her voice was. Oh, yes. This is indeed leather. After a fashion, your work is amateurish in the, in the extreme. The leather is unevenly tanned and practically unusable. But you show promise. Well, about as much promise as the leather you haphazardly crafted. Rude. Still, it is apparent you paid due respect to the life from which it came. Have you performed it? Had you performed it worse, I'd have cast you out without a second thought. But you didn't, so I won't. Approach each task in earnest as you did today, and I'll continue to advise you. However, you alone are responsible for your development. This is a business we're running, and neither I nor your seniors have the time to hold your hand. Apply yourself to learning their techniques, and return here when you have acquired some skills. Mayhaps then I will have an errand for you to run. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. I will pick up the next one since I'm here. Getting used to the knife I gave you? Gods know it doesn't happen very often, but you've ch chance to find me unoccupied. How about you show me what you've learned? Let's say you make three leather chokers. 
Really? Three chokers for you, huh? Hmm. After all, there's more to their craft than simply tanning hides, and chokers are just about the simplest thing one can make. I need circles of leather and animal sinew to accomplish this task. Osgis can provide the sinew, and I'm sure you, you can recall the method for making leather. I hope your technique has improved since last time. Now, while we have an ample stock of skins, there are other means of procuring your materials. Hunting for your own pelts, for instance. I, I know what I said about the book before, but that was about assuming it was necessary. Choosing to do so is another matter. Indeed, it may teach you to appreciate the source of your livelihood. Not all other workers are, are want to choose this method, but you are an adventurer, are you not? And you finish your works, bring your chokers here for inspection. Alright, I need some... I might as well do this since I'm here. Because it's a simple crafty one. Uh, choker. Choker? Choker. Other chokers. Here you go. Yoink. Yay! I don't have the required materials. Oh, fucking need some sinew. Who is it? Oh, that's a reception. Oh, there you go. Osgith. Animal sinew. This is used a lot, so I'm just gonna pick up like 10. <laughs> Sick, we done. Here you go. You finished your work then? Here's a one, a two, and a three. I suppose there's no denying that these are leather chokers. Truth be told, Opo Opo could have achieved similar results given skin, sinew, and time. She's such a bitch! Oh, but I don't mean to make the light of your efforts. You fulfilled the order precisely as requested. A job well done. Now then, I will teach you something to supplement your learning. Through physical training, the body can be made strong and resistant to injury. Not from the throat, whichever remains a vulnerable point. Although a leather choker provides less protection than metal gorget, gorget? Its simple design makes it ideal for everyday applications. This simplicity also makes it an ideal choice for beginners practicing basic techniques and for guildmates, masters assessing their progress. As you are, you would make a passable leather worker, one among the nameless multiples who scrape a living out there. Whether you rise to become something more is contingent upon your efforts. Consider this amateur as all a reward for your efforts. You will find it an indispensable partner to the head knife as you continue your training. Now I must return to work. If you chance to find me unoccupied again, mayhap I will teach you something else. So then, keep your nose in to the grindstone. Uh, certain gear grand spot. Yeah, I've learned that already. All right, what's your next one? Just in case. How are your techniques coming along? If you if you honestly think you've improved, then I have a new task for you. But before that, let me ask: You are familiar with Ben E. Brand, are you not? No. Surely you jest. I could. Forgive such ignorance if you were a passing adventurer. You only come to Eorzea. But I have trained an, but to have trained under my roof whilst remaining ignorant of the most coveted brand of the leather goons in all the realm. It boggles my mind. Anyway, all goods sold under the distinguished mineral name are crafted by none other than our leather workers. We've been asked to fulfill an especially large order on short notice, and so our stores of hard leather are nearly depleted. I was considering how best to handle the situation when you arrived. I'm sure you, you see where this is going. We need a dozen circles of hard leather, as fast as you can make them. Quickly, now go. Let's get some hard leather. Shit. Alright, I need 12 animal hides. These ones are easy, you can just kind of hang out in here. She kind of looks like snow from a uh, other Final Fantasy game. One with lightning. How's the job hunt going? I'm doing just fine. How you doing, man? I was saying earlier that... Wait, is I not... Do all of them? Um, the freaking the crafting and the professions in this game is so much more fun. That's the time before I have to start doing some doing something at work. So just hanging out. Appreciate you popping in. Damn it! I don't want to give you. Oh, I don't want to give you my special leather. All right, I gotta go buy more. I'm not giving you my special leather. Sorry. I should just mark this as a favorite. There we go. That is uh, <laughs> that bot message does not apply right now. Oh, that person's floating. Goodbye. Oh, that person's name is Hoodie Ninja. Is that a reference? MC Chris song? It's a great song. Hey, I got your crap. Please tell me you brought me the hard letter. Cookie time. Well, well. Cookie time. Cookie. She wakes up. Yeah, little mini games. I brought the game today to see the auction house for some mats and armor. Yeah, is it expensive? And the games? You know, it's a decent price. I, d I did not. I do not. 
feel that it's uh, overpriced at all. These are better than I expected. It's more difficult to boil leather than to pan it. But the process results in a stronger, more durable product. These properties make hard leather the material of choice for those who prefer stouter armor. The fruits of your labor shall serve the guild well, as training materials for new as training materials for new initiates. She's such a bitch. Hmm? You seem troubled. Surely you did not imagine that your leather would be used in the construction of Fennel goods. <laughs> oh gods, no. Only our elite leather workers handpicked by me are permitted to make wares that bear the Fennel name. While we have enough hard leather to complete the Fennel commission, some of the materials used, despite being of excellent quality, were originally intended to be distributed as practice materials. As such, the initiate supplies ran dangerously low. Come on, come now, there is no call to be disheartened. Do you not see that in furnishing the beginners with supplies, you have proven that you are no longer a beginner? You have given them what they could not make themselves. When you first arrived, I would never have entrusted you with such a task. Make no mistake, you are improving. Why, at this rate, my great-great-grandchildren may yet commission you to make a shoe sole, or even two. She's such a bitch! Speaking of commissions, I think you've proven yourself sufficiently skilled to order... to handle orders without my supervision. Go and see Gontrand in the Carlin Canopy if you're interested in taking on a few gu guild levies. You would gain much needed experience and earn yourself some coin besides. But enough chatter. Come and see me again when you further refine your technique. Oh, and if you make it during my lifetime, I dare say you'll find me in a more talkative mood. God, she's such a bitch. Why, why you always got, why you gotta be snide all the time? Dang. Yeah, I'm, I've learned all the professions. I am 12. Okay, so if I've learned... Okay, so I've done the botanist one. Let's do... Let's work on um, my weaver. Whoa. What do you want? Oh, I gotta go back to the botanist guild. Hold up. That's not a door. That is that is a door. Okay, botanist guild. I'm coming. Hello. Ah, there you are. Thank you for a job well done. There's no need to report to the details. I've already heard all I need to know. It's my belief that the botanist in question had not but personal gain in mind when he had so hurriedly harvested the Majorum. In his haste to complete the task and claim its reward, he damaged the herbs and rendered them useless. Such greed brings shame on our guild, and I will not tolerate it. The offender's name shall be struck from our role. As I taught you when you first came to us, a botanist nurtures the natural environment to the mutual benefit of man and wood. He who thinks only of his own benefit has no respect for nature and is unfit to call himself one of us. Of course, you hardly need reminding of this. Something tells me you shall never give me cause to worry. But let us speak of a cheery matters. Tell me, did you gather, did gathering the major impose you any trouble? If you ever find your work unduly onerous, you might consider outfitting yourself with better gear. Even something as seemingly insignificant as a new pair of boots can make a world of difference. As you gain new knowledge and experience, you will find yourself eventually further afield in search of new bounty, and your choice of equipment will become ever more critical. Go now, Faith, and keep up your efforts. I look forward to seeing you continue to grow as a botanist. Yeah, we know this. We know this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't open my inventory, so I can't tell which is better. Sure, wrist cards. Also, do this, this, this. Wait, where is it? Why didn't they show up? Oh, I gotta sell that crap. Where is... I just got some armor. Where is it? Did it go directly... Must have got, went directly into my thing. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, dude. Have a good night at work. She can, She's concerned over my appearance. Good morning, Faith. I see from the soil in your hands you have been a diligent decipher in your botany. I am not surprised. As we, we develop new skills, so our labors become more varied, and thus does our motivation grow. Yet, you know that motivation can only take one so far. If you wish to master botany, you must pay heed to those details which you have... Until now, taken for granted. In particular, I speak of gear. The tools of our trade. Not all tools are created equal, you see. And if you are to work with any degree of efficiency, you must use such gear as befits your ability. Lest you misunderstand, I'm not telling you to go and replace your gear. There is a more frugal way to improve your tools. And one more respectable. Respectable to nature besides. Tell me, have you heard of materia? It is a kind of crystal that can be used to enhance the efficiency, efficacy of gear. In the past, the enhancement process required certain catalysts found throughout nature, the gathering of which was our domain. The new methods have rendered them obsolete. Be that as it may, these substances still make for ideal subjects 
of training for budding botanists such as yourself. Therefore, for your next task, I would like you to gather qu a quantity of one such catalyst, namely grade one carbonized matter. 99 fragments should just suffice. What? 99? Goddamn. A thorough search of the area surrounding Alport will surely prove fruitful. The hamlet lies in western Lonasia, upon the land of Vilbrand. Once you have gathered the requisite amount, represent the carbonized matter to Sandre. He will teach you basics of materia. What? That's a gatherable thing? Chamomile? Hell yeah, dude. Carbonized matter. Here it is. I haven't even been there yet. It's fine. So maybe we will switch to... Where's the carpenter? Because I can... Length of maple lumber. Oh, green stuff. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh, I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to use that. Shoink. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna knock out a couple of these. Can I make a bronze ingot? I sure can. There's this person. I first saw, so that would be carpenter. I believe. Uh, teleport. After this, we might go level <laughs> actual class. I first saw, is this not the carpenter's guild? What is this? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, it's this guy. I remember you. You're, you're all dicks. As I mentioned before, Feral has a maple log is in stock as well as many materials you may require. Or are you ready to show me what you have brought? Here you go. Yes, I feel it. The wood tells all. There were no careless cuts, saw, and carpenter moved as one, as of dancing. Do you see this grain? How it flows softly like syrup. Durable yet pliant. Suitable for weapons and armor both. This child is maple. Trace the grain with your fingertips and memorize the lines. Consider every characteristic when choosing your materials. It's like he's flirting with the wood. What is it that it means to know the wood? Hey Josh, what does it mean to know the wood? The maple lumber you have brought me is acceptable. You have passed the first test. Yet for all it's for all that has grown, your knowledge is still lacking. You must, you must needs learn more. A true carpenter knows the quality and uses every tree in the forest. When you know the lines of the maple better than those upon your own hand, return to me. I shall have another test for you. Until then, child. Huzzah! It is plain from your bearing that you and your saw have begun to move as one, as true partners. This person, she looks fucking cool. She's got really cool ear things in her red eyes make her look awesome oh she's got red highlights in her hair that's fucking cool good you are ready for the second test okay you guys can't see because doggo cam oh, there you go you must you must be the wood before you brought me maple lumber to demonstrate your knowledge of the wood this time you will demonstrate your ability to create with it i bet you craft me three maple shields for this you will require maple lumber and bronze rivets as you would expect our guild supplier, Feral, has no shortage of that which you would require. Should you desire a more economical solution, however, you might consider a more traditional method of acquisition. Many materials essential to our craft are harvested by our steadfast allies, the botanists of the Great Loom Growery. Were you to befriend one of their number, you might be able to come to a much mutually beneficial arrangement. Or, if you would rather not be beholden to another, you could even try your hand at botany. Now go, and do not disappoint me. Uh, square maple shield. Fuck. Oh, I can make a bunch of these. Oh, we're fine. Ooh. Woo, head rush. <laughs> I like how he doesn't bother that. I am uh, literally right behind him. Oh, this person's mask is cool. It goes really well with their hair. Super cool. Can I make, can I make rivets? Sure can. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, this this is a global church. That's awesome. Okay, that's super cool. Okay, I gotta make a few of these. Dink, dink, dink. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, now switch back to carpentry. And he wants shield. Fuck. He needs more of those. God damn it. That's fine. So I need six. I have three. I need three more. Oh, I'll just do them all. Yoink. There we go. Oh, I already have two of those. Shit, it's fine. Here you go, buddy. What's this? Have you already bent the wood to your will? Sure did. Guessing they are in my... This. What's that? 
how did I create the maple lumber for this guy? Um, you can buy the maple wood from the person out front. Look, I'm helping someone. You are not working day camper. That much is plain. Well done, child. Your shields are most satisfactory. Oh, I wrong voice for him. The pattern of the grain, the lingering scent of maple, your choice of materials is excellent, and the construction above criticism. Few carpenters can claim such skill. Bell is in one's favorite shields of wood. Do you know this? Today, it is not so. They, like your adventurer brethren, are wont to choose the, sure, the surety of the armor's metal. But a shield of wood provides an ample protection for a lower price. It is readily made and readily replaced if broken. And while not quite so sturdy, it may yet serve to spare a man his doom just as readily as any shield of metal. To imbue shield and spear with your strength, to pour your life into the wood and others might preserve their own. This is what it means to be with a wood. Such responsibility is not to be taken lightly, child. You have passed the second test, and in doing so, have earned this amateur's claw hammer. Though a saw will suffice for many tasks, a carpenter who wields blade and hammer both can perform his trade with greater ease. If you wish to improve as a carpenter, it is essential that you learn the use of two tools in combination. Continue to refine your skills and return to me when you are ready to take the next step. Okay, this person is still talking to me. Right at the door. No problem. I helped the person. Alright. This guy's really tall. I see by the wearing of your saw blade that you have not neglected your carpentry since we last spoke. Very good! You'll soon be ready for your third and final test. In the meantime, the guild has none has need of your services. You are familiar with ash wood. Ah, but of course you are. I bid you craft me some ash lumber. A simple task, you say? And you shouldn't have trouble crafting me twelve lengths. Shit, I hope I have enough. This is no jest. We use the last here last few mere moments ago. So you see, the assignment is motivated purely by practical concerns. I would ordinarily handle such a trifling task myself, of course, but I am feeling unwell, and I do believe you have a bit bereft benefit from the practice. Now go! And do not disappoint me. Uh, favorites? Ash lumber? Ah! I'm very low. A number of ash lumber. I can only make one, that's cool. Okay, so I gotta make a bunch of this. I need nine more. Alright, so I need 27 ash wood. Ash wood. <gasps> I'm gonna buy some fish oil. I've seen that. Ash log. Alright, sucker. I'm here to make your shit. Dun, dun, dun. Ultimate weapons. What is this person screaming about? Search PvP and bank on Google. Sweet, we done. I got your stuff. Ah! Have you brought the ash lamba? Sure did. There you go. Such a prodigious quantity. Thank you, child. You have done your guild a great service. Ash Lumber is renowned for its unparalleled flexibility. This quality makes it ideal for use in bows and myriad other weapons. By the same token, Ash Lumber is easily worked and thus ideal for learning the basics of our craft. Such a versatile material is, is understandably, understandably popular, and so we always have need of more. It may also interest you to know that the Ash poss possesses certain medicinal properties. Tea brewed from its bark eases various complaints. Complaints such as that which I am presently afflicted. Suffice to say, I am pleased to see that your lumber is dusted with sufficiency of bark. Sufficiency? Sufficiency of bark fragments. But let us return to the subject of carpentry. You have proven yourself more capable of working without my guidance. If you wish to market your crafts to others, speak with Condrent in the ca Garlene Canopy. He has an abundance of guild leaves waiting to be fulfilled. Oh, falling over. Continue to uh, refine your skills and return to me when you are ready to take the next step. Are you gonna die? Guy has me worried. Okay, where are we going? It's so far away. Deliver chunks of copper ore. It's an old, uh, I don't want to go that far away. Back to conjuring. Okay, let's go to the. Oh, I guess I'm going here anyway. Oh, that's oh, Jimmy. Welcome. Oh, it's so loud. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Yuri! What's up, my dude? Welcome to the stream! Oh, and you just murdered Lonnie, who just... Who came for you? I think I got someone for the 38 months of... Lonnie was boss for only a couple hours. Thank you so much for the continued support, my dude! I'll help the stream boss, Yuri! 
Maxwell Legend with 38 bucks. Thank you so much, my man. How you doing? We're just, uh... Professionals have standards. I haven't attuned to any of these. Oh, that one I have. Okay. Holy crap. Okay, that's... That's a... That's a big run. Um... Maybe I should do a normal quest because that is quite the run. We'll pick this up, whatever it is. Hello. I may know secret about my disinclination towards Quidonians, as you may know. But I just saw a rare sight that I would be remiss not to share with a fellow adventurer. Just over yonder in the acorn orchard, orchard, I saw a commonly, commonly maiden new to these benighted parts, I'd wager dancing shit i skipped a thing on accident do they perhaps ready themselves for some fresh right after so much doom and gloom i shouldn't mind a day of merrymaking i'll just the thought excites me let you see what it's all about you're playing some gta 5 role playing how does that work whoa wait the police department blew up three of their own guys in two gas stations what how, how did that happen a day of merrymaking is that all you adventurers think about I'm here to teach, my dear lady. For me, these younglings are to learn a most sacred, meaningful, and uniquely uplifting dance. Am I going to learn a dance? That'd be awesome. No, I realize full well that the tradition may not hold much allure for the young, but I didn't think they would... Why, they would... I didn't think they would up and run away. This manner of disobedience is unprecedented. It's all the more surprising considering they obey the Timbermaster without demur. But I wouldn't give to know his secrets, but I must wait here. For my unruly charges. I wonder though, why you ask the man how he tamed them? Okay. God damn it. Alright. I hate that there's doors, but they're not doors that can be used. It's you. <laughs> I do not recall summoning you, Faith. Is this something you wish me to inspect? Apparently not. Speak your mind, child. The younglings will not heed their dancing master, and I am to provide the solution. <sighs> master Yeda seems to Seems able enough, but having no generosity towards herself, she has none of her charges. None for her charges. I don't know what that means. Give the younglings these on her behalf, and bid them return to their lesson. What am I... Shit. Give the toys to the children. Where? Oh, they're just all over the place. Leather workers guild. Okay. <laughs> have a good one, my dude. Enjoy your games. Oh, uh, no, I, I don't have GTA. I've never been a fan of the GTA games. Um... Scoop with both hands, then look left, up, up, right, down. Or is it up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right? Yo, that's a nerd reference. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. I wish you would let me take notes. That's funny. Fuel on your funeral pyre. Creed, yo, what's up, my dude? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the raid. What was you playing? <gasps> and it's a panda. And a Rando McNando. How's all your beautiful faces? Yeah. Rando McNando, thank you so much for the follow. Here's one cookie. Here's cookies for you. Um. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the proper pile. If you guys don't know me, I'm Vasive. I'm a variety gamer here. I've recently gotten sucked into Final Fantasy 14. Having a blast here. We're just kind of vibing and doing some profession stuff here. Uh, but the real start of the show is uh, Jada, the potato over there, who's... Uh, slightly out of cam right now <laughs> uh we did have another pup um but she unfortunately crossed over the ra rainbow bridge a couple weeks ago uh, but she shows she makes appearance uh in her adorable little angel form on stream sometimes but how you guys doing what are you playing i was wa um i was watching you play uh the other day when i raided that uh 2d side scroller game that game seems very interesting you could have been rando like i've had um Twitch like unfollow people from me, like was like no, I was I know I was following them because I pop into their channel all the time, and all of a sudden it's like, well, they haven't streamed lately. Go to their channel. Twitch unfollowed them. Really annoying. So I understand that. I don't have to grab you into the deep abyss. That is wonderful, dude. The freaking professions are like unreasonably fun. Like I, a couple of my professions are already higher level than my main class because it's just relaxing and the little mini games are just fun so it's weird every other mmo that i've had with professions just sucked and i hated doing them i would stop leveling them 
doing some stalker. Ooh. It's a suplex, dude! What's up, my man? Welcome to the stream. It's good to see your face. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for... Thank you for the kind words. Yeah, we, we miss her, but... um, it, It's going. It's going. Andriana, that's a cool name. Thank you so much for the follow. You don't want cookie? Hey, welcome to the Pupper Pound. Yum, yum, yum. Also, I, I recently got a brand new setup. So, like, Cam's over there now. So I'd, like, talk to you. And Doggo Cam is literally right there in Jada's face. So, we're playing with it. Hopefully, uh, it's a little better. Rated for Garlic Dude. If you like platformers with great music, it's super... Yeah, it was, it was interesting to watch. Like, when I was first watching, I was like, Oh, man, is this gonna be a spooky game? Because I don't do good with spooky games. Just wait until you get to the gold saucer. Oh, I just did. Um, last stream. I didn't do much there. I tried the, um, the card game. I did a couple scratch tickets. I didn't do the chocobo races, but apparently that's actual racing, so I'm down for that. Uh, a mod in chat. Uh, Cat Bear. He, he apparently just spends hours just hanging out in the gold saucer. <laughs> he said if he's on, 90% of the time he's just in the gold saucer. <laughs> What's up, Kale? Good to see you too. Gold Saucer ends every playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV of mine. Really? You just kind of get stuck there? Yeah, get stuck there and main story missions are boring and don't progress again. <laughs> yeah, I've heard um, the base game and I think Heaven Sword main stories are kind of boring. Um, but once you power through them, then it really kicks up. Hotel Fi can't handle 1080p. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Have a good one. I appreciate you popping in. Thank you for the follow. Um, okay. Talking to this kid. Oh, boy, this... Why, this is made of maple. It's unmistakable. <laughs> it's unmistakable. <laughs> Master Beaton would tell you the grain of it almost flows like syrup. Someday I'll be on the Timber Master like him. Uh, he wants me to go back to Mistress Ye this class? Uh, doesn't he, uh... He tells us that if you can true a piece of wood, there's no excuse for truing yourself. Alright, I'm going. Go learn to dance, dude. We're giving toys to kids right now. That's what's happening. Gotta make some chow real quick. Yes, go go get them foods. I get stuck in the mahjong table in the gold spot. There's a mahjong table? I've never played mahjong. I don't think I have anyway. But I don't want to be dancing. Wrong thing. But I don't want to be dancing. Why can't we just play? I mean, I guess we could dance for fun, but I don't think Miss Mistress Judith knows how. She's so uptight. Toy for you? There you go. Is this one of Master Bean's toys? Does this mean there's more if I go back to class? I'm on my way! Okay. Oh, Panda! I was gonna tell you the other day, when I was watching your, um, Little Nightmares 2 gameplay, I, when that first came out, I ran into a bug that was game-breaking. Like, um, I ended up dying somehow, and the, the level didn't fully reset properly, so you couldn't progress. I literally had to start over, and it was like two hours into it. And I was like, I'm done with this, and I didn't come back to it for like eight months. Um, and it's still not fixed. I, like, I put it, there's a clip up on my YouTube um, about it being broken. And I'm still getting, like, I'll get it, comments on it occasionally. Be like, hey, I just hit this. Apparently, and I'm like, wow, it's still a problem. It's been like three or four years. And I even reported it to him. Like, I, I was like, here's the video. Your thing is broken. And apparently they never fixed it. I ran off because it's boring. All measures you just says is how we're doing it wrong. Here you go. Hey, that's one of Master Beaton's. If this is supposed to be a bribe, then you got yourself a deal, adventuring lady. Did it. Okay. Uh, shit. Where do I go for her? She is... Mm, fine. She's fine, the main thing. Run over here. I ran into bug and DLC and I had to reset my last checkpoint because it makes you stuck and can't progress. Oof. I wonder if that's the same one I ran into. Because, um, when I was watching it, you got... You had the point where you had to like jump on like little rails that you grabbed onto and you kind of had to slide over like a pit. That's where I hit the bug. And then if you die, like one of the something, I don't remember what happened, but like a door closes and there's no gnomes around anymore. So I wonder if you hit the same thing. Super cool and fun though. But mine, like I could not reset my checkpoint because the reset checkpoint was when I died. I was like, well, that's cool. I have to start over. Did not enjoy it. Florist. <gasps> Is it Aerith? No. I guess. Spoilers. It's not Aerith. 
Hey, look, your kids are back. I want to learn the dance, too. Can I learn it? Well, I don't know what sorcery you were, but the younglings are back. And I do believe you've reached an accommodation. It would seem like much stricter than I imagined, and loosening up a bit has made a great difference. This dance is for the Feast of the Harvest to give thanks to Novica and the Elementals. There must be no aggression in this dance. And she's all, like, super aggressive in teaching it. Let the Matron be angered. It's very, very important. I do realize I haven't made the best in first impressions, having you fetch my students for me. To make it up to you, will you let me show you the dance? Think of it as a kind of peace offering. Dude, I want to learn it. It's a shimmy. I want to learn it. <laughs> She's doing that in clogs. That's impressive. Hooray, clap, clap. Tell me I learned it. Tell me I learned it. Yes! I learned a dance! Love that. <laughs> the carpenter dude. He's behind there just staring at me being a creep. Wow, you are a born dancer, dear lady. Sonora's voice. And so we... And so say we and so say we. No, don't do that. Oh, is the carpenter? Yeah. Ah! Why you got... Dude, he's like approaching like a fucking crazy murderer person with his saw blade out in a combat stance. Comes a, oh wait. Comes a sailor from the sea to show the ladies how it's done, and so say we, and so say we. You're, dude, put your axe away. Swing his axe and says, remember, shiver, shiver me timbers, and so say we, and so say we. I have no idea what's happening. Oh. Oh, gods, no. Master Beaton, what have you done? You brought a weapon to the sacred dance. The Matron, forgive us. We are surely doomed. What the fuck? Master Beaton, you scared her off. We were having fun. Remember Master Beaton? Oh, wasn't that the sailor song? How do you know it? I never mind you how I know. More to the point. What could have troubled Mistress Yidith so? You showed up like a freaking actual axe murderer. I guess it's a saw. You're a saw murderer. Yo did! She said you're supposed to be peaceful or the elementals will be upset. And you know how uptight she gets. Uh. Of course, of the relationships never does run smooth, child. You will all discover this in time. The fuck? I'm very confused. I'm glad I learned to dance, but I'm very confused. Even my character is like, I'm just gonna hang out here and stare at the wall for a minute. Mine was in a water part, and if you swim to a certain area, you continue to see swim in circles and it won't allow you to move. To oh god. Why did I do that? For experience. That gave me very little. Damn it. Fine. Okay. What is this? No, I don't want to be an archer. Um, what if I go this way? Whoa. What's a self stronghold? Okay, I haven't been there. Undo. Damn it. I just wanted a level. And this place is really far away. <sighs> oh, wait. You can't do that. Crap. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay, is it cheaper to use the Zeppelin? I'm assuming it's cheaper to use the Zeppelin. Wait, I'm in, I'm in, I'm already here, right? And I think you go to the gatekeeper for the Zeppelin? We'll find out. As someone leveling up their archer, you're offended. <laughs> are you a, are you a DPS player in general? I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a fan of DPS for the most part. I get bored, but I haven't tried DPS in this game. But in every other game I've kind of played, DPS is just kind of not my jam. Where am I going? Landing. Oh, let's go to this canopy. Hold on. Because I can do something there now, right? At least that's what a couple of people have told me. Wait. 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 Oh, you're, you're full life. You're fine. I was going to heal them. Okay. Let's see what this guy does now. I see you wasted no time in following my advice. Be sure to attend Tierney's instructions in carrying out your living quest. Wait, what? I'm on a quest? Oh, here you go. What is this? Map. Why? Levies of Bent Branch. Make your way to Bent Branch Meadows and speak with Tyranny. Okay. So, let me click. Also, I don't know how to use the map uh, efficiently yet, so this is what I'm going to do. 
Look for Bent Branch. There it is. And it's outside New Gridania, which I'm at, right? Central Shroud? Is that where it said it was? There we go. Okay. Figuring it out. You like long range DPS? Nice. You live tank to months. I haven't tried tanking just yet. Tank is what all I know how to do properly. Hey, we, we, we stand tank and support players. They, they keep the party together. Why am I going to Bent Branch? Oh, Tyranny. Tyranny's down there. All right, we're just going to run as soon as this is off cooldown, I guess. I will get murdered if I go there. Same with that. Yeah. All right. Hi, friends. Goodbye, friends. I really like the, the team combat in this game, too. Like when we you do the like the little training demo areas for your class and like as a even as this healer, they're like, yo, you you do damage and stuff too. Go do that. What the fuck? Who's attacking me? What was that? Um also brain fart. I need to do that levy quest. Or whatever. Make your way to Bent Branch Meadows and speak with Tyranny. Where is she? Where is she? How do I link quest and no? How do I track this? Oh, like this. Aha. And then we'll... What? How come she's not showing up on my map? Bruh. She's not showing up. I don't like that. Why doesn't she show up on my map? Rosaline. It's not going to be up here. Yeah, that's going too far away. It's over in this area. But look, she doesn't show up on my map. Maybe she's inside the house? Was there a house up there? Mm, I'm unsure. Hello. Do you know who Tyranny is? Do you know where she's at? What about you? Hey, Audrey. Where's Tyranny? Ribald. There you are. I found you. Not having second thoughts now, are we? Open your journal and there's duty in the main menu. Begin the selected levy quest by pressing initiate. When it only fills out met- Oh. Oh, hold up. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. That's why this one wasn't marked. Your home point is not set to an aetherite in this area. If you return to your current home point at any time, the other castle will automatically abandon. Okay. Difficulty. Whoa. Changing class during the curse of this duty or using a class above the recommended level may reduce the amount of experience awarded. So you can up the difficulty? The drug reference is being level and the level, level plus. Shit. Once you've initiated the level quest, location your map is located. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Too close to home. Anoli Stalker. Where are they? Right here? Got you. Run! Let's go get them. I like the music. Okay, so there's no other markers, so I'm assuming they're just here. Just gotta find three of them. Got him! Look it! I found a boy! He's gonna get murdered. Murder... One! Or not? Okay. And I have to cur... No, 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 no! I have to kill them quickly because... They said they will call their friends. Murder! You missed. Okay, I'm assuming they can't see this guy. Okay. This Livy quest thing is kinda cool. No! No finding reinforcements. Did it. Collecting levy quest rewards. When all levy quest suggestions have been completed, you will be given the option to return immediately to the issue. Oh, that's fucking dope. <gasps> that's so cool. It just immediately teleports me over. Oh, I like that. Oh, your first four into the woods of levy quest appears to have been a success. And here's a reward for your efforts. It should be better because I did a higher difficulty. Oh, speed of completion too. What is this? Did I get a card? Now that, oh. now that this trial is behind us, I have no further qualms about assigning you tasks around Bent Match Bredos. There are levy quests that plenty for hardworking adventurers such as yourself and a deal of fame and fortune to be won in their doing. Okay, I did it. Look at me go. I'm ready to join a guild heist. Should you be interested in a challenge quite unlike your average levy quest, you might consider joining a guild heist. If you wish to know more, please speak with Battle Warden Ribald outside your under tent. I will inform him of your success against the Anoli that there is no doubt such your abilities. Okay. I remember seeing you. Hey, buddy. 
I was a stalwart adventurer would be... I was told the stalwart adventurer would be along shortly. I take it as that is you. Then permit me to tell you about our current operations. Wait, might this be your first time participating in a guild test? I remember my first test. It was the night of my 20th name day. My fellow guildmates invited me to join them in the slaying of a family of pasties. Pasties? We were stealing sugar boy eggs from Bent Mouth Ra Bent Branch Meadows. The moment we arrived, one of the terrible beasts immediately turned to me and charged. The thing was thrice my size and had already maimed several chocobos. Choco keeps. There was no way I could win, so I simply froze and waited for the end. But that's when I remembered that I was not alone. My friends rallied around me and get together we defeated the pasties. I didn't know how to pronounce their words. That, my friend, is what a guild heist is truly about. What say you, friend? You had to experience a heist for yourself? Sure. Guild has their special operation organized by adventurers guilds and overseen by NPCs known as Battle Wardens. Speak weekly with the Battle Warden displays a list of all guild that are currently available. Please note, however, that each operation has conditions. Woo, excuse me. At first, you may find that only a limited number of guild heads are accessible. Do not worry as you progress in level, the number will grow. Okay. He said, said it had been updated with a new regular duty. Category duty. Okay. So, talk to you? No, not my pig. Well met, I've been dispatched by the Adventurers Guild to recruit volunteers for a special small-scale operation known as Guild Test. You look to be sound mind and body. Why'd you consider joining? Sure. Basic training. Enemy parties. I'm gonna join this guy. First highlight a duty from the list and press the join. Once you've registered, you can view the duties particular, including party. When your party has been successfully for Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for this. Um, we already got a tank and a healer, though. Okay, cool. So what's gonna happen? The, oh, the active help entry limit break has been added. Wait, what? You get limit breaks? Limit breaks of power actions are only available in parties of four or more members. The actions can be executed when the party's limit gauge is full. Steady there, only a fool. Uh, I'm trying to read things. The limit gauge slowly fills the battle card against certain actions of heroism, such as curing ally. Limit break. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's fine. I'm here to murder. Defeat one enemy group at a time. Get murdered. Don't be bloody here to march headlong to into peril. Try luring the beast. It's fucking... Had it while practicing... Uh, uh, okay. This colors the warm players that stepping into the hazards of them triggering new enemies to appear. Oh, neat. Okay. Robo is seeing you and alerted his scrags. Slay him. Murdering people. Oh, I have a thing. Swift cast. Oh, right. Forgot I had that. Let me heal a friend. Why can't I cast on you? Cast. Yeah, I figured out. We did it! You can commend a party member who left a positive impression on you. How? I didn't get to read that because it closed. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Playing displays the first time I heard your well earned coin of tossing a little something extra to sweeten the deal. So that's you might consider and come back. Bonus has been added to your reward for completing the has test at an event contra for the first time. An additional bonus has been added for your party completing the operation without su suffering a single KO. I don't know how to reward. Oh, player recommend. Commend the player who left a positive impression on you. Oh, how did you do that? How'd you do it? Shit. Learning more. Basic training. Under the armor. Commence. Okay. Whoa, that was immediate. You'll be assigned a random duty from among those you have unlocked. Uh, I'm threatened. Um, stay alert. Okay. Let's get him. There's a skeleton. I don't need to move to intercept. All right, here comes the heal friend. Yeah, look at me healing friends, because I'm awesome. Ouch! I'm being zapped. Oh, they hate me. Yeah, we did it. How do I commend? No. I got a player commended. Oh, they all commended me! When you're in dungeon or trial, try it before you leave. When finishing, there's a highlighted button to give a player a command. Where? Was it before this mint screen? Shit, and they all left. Fuck! It's fine. We 20. And maim and mend. Wait, that didn't show up on my bar. 
Upgrade stone to stone two. Wait, what? What is this? Ugh. Okay, I have two questions. That command thing, it usually pops underneath the list of quests on the right, at least, you think. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Upgrade stone to stone two. What is this? Oh, okay. It just, it, I don't have to do it. Main, main, main. Increase basic action damage and HP restoration by 10%. So these are just like passive bonuses. Okay. Neat. Enemy stronghold. Look at the big of a frog. This one didn't pop up a thing. There it goes. Okay. I'll have to pay more attention to the commendation thing. Because I went to a commend to my friends. I suppose I can go look around for things. There we go. Commence. Blind. Oh yeah, I can blind people. I'm here, friends. Let's get them. Fireballs. Look at all my dots. Dots! We dotsin'. Yes! Defeat the enemies and use the lever to open the gate. Yes. It's a hog. It's a hoggle boy. Oh shit, behind us. Time to run. Did it. I helped. This person's a badass. Just murdering these people. Yeah, we doing it. We doing it, Mr. Krabs. Look at these bunny people. Boom. Get him. Oops. There's one. Heels for you, friend. Wee. The Lord of the Whale. Leia waits beyond. Giant frog boy, let's go. Look at him. Blarp, 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 blarp. Wait, boulder. Oh, is he gonna break those and those things gonna come get in us? We got it, boys. All right, we need to kill or command Alex Pierce for being a tank. We're fine. We got this. We're not scared of no boulders. Yeah, we did it. Father knows test. Cheer. Yay. Where is it? 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 Fuck. I do oh, dude. It doesn't exist. I don't get it. Oh, it's daytime now. Hero on the half shell. Oh, it's a Ninja Turtle reference. I have to do it. Whoa, look at this dude. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, wait. Get him. Capture the altar of this man. Uh. Oh. I can't read. Or can't see because stuff is in the way. Heels for you. Wow, he acted up real quick. Wonder if that was a move. Can I blind him? Yeah, you're blind. You can't help my fr hurt my friend now. has a shit ton of life. Ah, don't like that, whatever that is. Nope. Heal friend.
blinded. Can't hurt my friend anymore. <clears throat> Player command. It's immediate. How, how do you command? Fucking, I don't know, bro. This is fun. Kind of. I, I mostly wanted to hit level 20 so I can unlock Chocobo. But I found these things and these things are fun. And they're like right here and I don't have to run around. It very much appeals to the lazy in me. Mmm. Level 20. We're doing it. Wave. Hi, everyone. Let's get them. Get them, tank. Get him, tank. There you go. Are you a tank? Oh, shit, dude. All right, these people are getting their asses beat. All right, blind you. Jeez, dude. I'm assuming one of them is not a tank and they're getting their ass beat. Blinds. Ah, purple stuff. I'm helping. Boom. Oh shit. I want to run over there, but I can't. Cause there's a stupid thing my way. Ah, purple. This one is significantly more difficult. Purple, 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 purple. Mm. How come that? Oh, because you were out of range. You suck. Stupid log fucking me up, bruh. Ah! Yes! Mm, no deaths! I'm the best at this game! I don't know how to commend, bruh. How do you commend? I can in bottom right. I have no such icon. I have no such icon. Oh! I misread this. I thought that these were saying, um, these people commended me. So I could recommend them. Never mind. I get it. I get it. I'm just a dumb. Cool. Does it not mark them off that I've done them? Red belly, look out. I'm assuming this guy's a tank. Uh, is that a gladiator? guy's name is Blank Knoll. That's kind of a cool name.
throwing them dots. Dots. Your heels are coming. Ah. Behind us. I don't like that. Ah. I'm silenced. Why can't I move? I'm being murdered. Oh, I'm really being murdered now. By a lot. I'm taking a lot of damage. Did it? No deaths. Let's go. Okay, those are fun. Okay, let's see if I can go do the um, Sophie's trials. What's the chocobo quest? Okay, cool. I've done them all. Neat. Um, what's Sophie's trials? Sure. Let's go see what that's about. Shit, I never, <laughs> I never found out about the Levy things. Oh, you know what? I should probably conjure his guild. Is there a bard or something over there? Someone's playing music. Oh, I'm Sylvie's Twilight. I'm level 20, so I unlocked a conjurer thing. That's what that is. It's fine. I'm here. Might as well do it. Blodo Bloggins. No. Oh, wait. Greetings, Faith. You radiate the confidence of a conjurer who neglects not her study of the elements. I confess I have no lesson for you to learn today. This day. Instead, I would ask that you aid me in the education of another. Yes. I speak of Sylvie. Sylvie. After no small amount of prompting, bordering on coercion, the child has finally promised to attempt to embrace the forces of nature. But I'm afraid the matter is not so easily resolved. Sylphie has never attempted to learn the basic offensive spells that you and most other conjurers mastered before even venturing into the wild. As such, she is ill-equipped to undertake the trials which furnished you and your peers with an understanding of the elements. Put simply, she is no match for the tainted spirits of nature. But if a more capable conjurer were to accompany her and purify the corruption in her stead, it may yet serve to impress upon her the power of the forces at work. I bid you take her on a pilgrimage around the Twelveswood and give her the opportunity to witness these confrontations firsthand. Earth, wind, water, heart, must know. She must know them all. So for the majesty and primal ferocity of nature, as it, it was with you, let Earth be her first lesson. Sylphie awaits you at the Bent Branch Meadows. Pray forgive my presumption, but I thought it would best send her on ahead while her conviction remained strong. Once you have located the patch of corrupted soil, Ben Branch, draw forth the tainted spirit and let her witness the struggle that ensues. May the elementals aid you in this endeavor, Faith. Can do, buckaroo. That's in... Yes. Ah, oh, shit. I shouldn't have spent money to come to this the main town. That's my port. I'm coming, Selfie. Wait for me. We must beat up this rock elemental together. I will not leave you alone. Hello. Look at See this purple glowing stuff? You gotta touch it. And then you gotta murder it. Like this. What's the cooldown in this? 60 seconds? I really like the cooldowns are fairly short in this game too. It's pretty great. See that? Did it. Ah! I wasn't scared. I was just a little started, let's all. It was as if massive solid wrath had erupted him from the ground. I've never felt anything. I mean, um, never mind. We have to head to the bannock next. Let's get this over with. Where'd you go now? Over there. I'm on it. You. Hey, Birch. If you're still here, how do you get the chocobo quest started? Bless you. Hey, yo, baby, 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 baby. How you doing? Stinky. Hi. We stinking. We stinking. Oh, big stretches. That was a big old griffin. Eat my rocks. 
Take my stones to the face. Did it. Gods! The wind blew straight through me. It felt both gentle and sharp at the same time. I... I can't explain it. This is something you can conjure? Let's be on our way. The last one is Lilystone. Banana Yusha? <laughs> Alright, where's Lilystone? All the way fucking down there, bruh. Alright. Can I think through this? Sure can. <gasps> can you raise in battle? Looks like you can. That's kind of cool. <sighs> oh, I still got a, quite a ways to run. Oh, I need to kill this guy. Sorry. Bonk. Sorry, bird. It's for a quest. It must be done. The angry water is here. Angry water just sounds like hard alcohol. Don't drink the angry water. The lake is so beautiful. I never noticed how clearly the sky was reflected in its surface. I never noticed. Let's head back. I'm ready to speak with the guildmaster now. And that's when we yeep on the way back. No, not that button. What are you, friends? Oh, I don't think I've ever been here when it's been daylight. It looked way different. I didn't know exactly which way to go. Oh, trying to talk to the man. There you go. Welcome back, my avid conjurers. How fared you in your encounter with the elements? Sylvie, what did you sense as faith to cleanse the source of corruption? It's hard to explain. It was like hearing voices crying out in joy. And I felt their happiness wash over me. The world seemed sharper, more alive. It was almost as if nature were speaking to me. But why, brother Isumi? Why did my mother teach me to avoid this sight of conjury? What was she so afraid of? There are certain truths that hide behind the mask of our words. And there is much m that your mother didn't tell you. But you needn't seek all the answers at once, Sylvie. Even now, your mind founders amid a sudden innuendation of awareness. Inundation. Jesus. The first time we connect with nature can be a wonderful but disorienting experience. I suggest you allow yourself some time to adjust to this new perspective. Yes, Guildmaster. You will have my gratitude, Faith. Thanks to you, Sylvia has taken a most important step. You heard her mention voices crying out in joy, did you not? It appears the, the mother's gift has been passed on to the daughter. Such sensitivity, sensitivity is not one can achieve through meditation and training, but a blessing that only a few fortunate chosen receive. And, as you have no doubt surmised, Sylphie's mother was one such person. The misunderstanding of that blessing, however, was what led her down such a tragic path. We cannot allow Sylphie's astonishing talents to consume her in the same manner. But we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. The girl has barely woken to her potential. And for the potential to be fully realized, your support is yet needed. I su suspect she failed to mention that the promise of your involvement in her lesson was the reason for her change of heart. Ah, you underestimate the impression your quiet determination has made on young Sophie. If modesty prevents you from acknowledging your own good deed, consider this task a part of your training. Our conjurers are healers of wounds, but they, be they physical or otherwise. Walk with her on her journey, Faith, and together explore the myriad mysteries of nature. I need to be further along on the main quest for the the chocobo thing oh it doesn't just unlock at level 20. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. level 21. i got a big old staff yes after you choose a grand company Whap. all right but that's so much running that's so much running look I have to run from here all the way up there that's so much running that's so much running no, I just hit 21 and apparently, whoa, that's cool. What's that? Oh, it's just a flag. I thought someone placed something. Oh, it's a dungeon. I can never find out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do remember the Zeppelin person is at the main hub. Finish your novice training. Which, what novice training? What's that? Oh, it's way cheaper to use the Zeppelins. Holy crap. It's like a sixth of the price. It helped. Oh, I think I already did all those. Where they put you like in a little arena and teach you how things work. Okay, I need to go so very far away. There's someone in Gridani, I forgot exactly where, but depending on the amount of like personal achievements, you can obtain a few mount. Oh, I need to figure out where to get that. Oh, is that the thing where you like turn in achievement points or something like that? Look at this guy's sword. It's like a Vorpal sword. It's cool. Okay, so I need to go so far away, dude. 
Is there a way to get over there faster? Adventurer's Guild building north of Aleport and speak with seasoned adventurer. Adventurer's Guild north of Aleport. Damn it. That's so far. Did you really make that run? That's bananas. Like actual painful. Where am I? Zoom out. Western. Okay, so go go to Western. This way. Ruby Dingleberry. Go to the Miketo Amplifier or whatever. It's at the back. Wait, is that um is that what you're talking about to exchange stuff? Or is that like a quick way to get through here? Fuck. Ferry ticketer. Do I want to go to Vesper Bay? Where's Vesper Bay? I don't think I want to go to Vesper Bay. Although I can't get over there. Fuck it. Figure it out, I guess. This will just try to click X on your mini-map. <laughs> you try to click X on my mini-map? <laughs> Damn, I'm super special. This, all, this whole giant boat just for me. There's an interesting conversation going down on in chat, and I want to see it. Yes! Okay. It's not too far. Lonely, wow, refugee, need a girlfriend, or what's FC? We can help with those things to join Knights Federation Rise today. Can you help with the girlfriend part? <laughs> uh, that's good. Okay, where am I? I need to go over here. How come I'm not showing up on the map the way I want? Um. Oh, talk, talk to the chocobo person. There's no shard here? Why don't I show up on the map in this? I do. Fuck. I'm so far away. Oh, this sucks ass. That's so far of a run. Ugh. I don't think I'm patient enough for that. That's way too far of a run. You can't be expected for me to really do that, right? Especially since apparently there's no way out of here. Ugh, I hate this. How the fuck do I get over there? How do I get over there? This is dumb. I hate the map in this game. I will say that. Using the map is very confusing and not helpful. Oh, whoa. Okay. I need over here. How did I get to Ulda? Wait a minute. I was at Limsa Limino. What the fuck? What just happened? Well, now I'm even more confused. What? That, mm, it's fine. Yeah, but I don't have, I can't use a mount yet. Yeah, I, I touch the crystals when I when I find him. Oh wait, I can skip this. Okay, do this again. <laughs> That's a ridiculous run still though. I wish you could be like, plot me a path. Oh, apparently I wasn't attuned to this one. Am I not attuned to that one either? Oh wait, there we go. Okay, run this way. I'm here, I could totally do some crafting stuff. I suppose I could hire a chocobo, right? That's something you can do. Maybe I'll do that. I'll run up here real quick. See that little line? Shoot between them? That was weird. Does that mean they're links, maybe? Like you attack one, you get multiple? Luchador. Love it. Hey, can I borrow a chocobo? I need to make sure I'm going the right way, is the question. Okay. I think it's going to be worth it. We going! I uh, selecting dismount. Okay. Wait, can I not control him? No. Can I not control him? That's dumb. I just wasted 15 kill. Oh well. <laughs> That's dumb. I thought I could ride him. And just be like, yo, take me somewhere. But it, I guess it's like flight paths and wow. It's fine. We're going on an adventure. Musty nuts. Behemoth is like my little baby pago boy. Just blooping around. Doesn't hurt. Fuck it. We'll help. Oh. Nah, it's fine. Really like the fate music. It's pretty dope. Whoa. Look at that big boy. I must observe. Chupacabra! Why can't I attack it? Level sync. Wait, it said this was a level 14. Heck off, bro. Jam on a bagel! I'm 
I'm getting murdered. It's fine. Get him! Get him! And Chupacabra. That's a lot of blue. Get out of my swamp! Alright, you're annoying. Get blind. Get murdered! Dun, dun, dun. Why did that one say it was level 14, but then it sinked me down to 9? Okay. I'm in a fate already. Level 10. There. We found it. I guess the run wasn't that bad. <gasps> Look at the whale! I love him. Uh, I'm gonna go grab that. Fat Dodo. <laughs> Talk to you. Whoa, look at that guy's name. Sfiggif. Sfiggif. Tubby Wubby. I help. Nope. I was out of range. Ooh, cool little lighthouse. We're almost there. We're almost there. Whoa, whoa. What's happening there? Is that actually supposed to be on fire right now? Looks like frozen lava. Also, there's a big green star. That's cool. I help. There you go. Ah, you must be the adventurer of whom the yellow jacket sent word. I hear you're brave to the depths of Sestasha Sarva. Sigrat. The acolytes of those caves are rumored to be as numerous as they are bloodthirsty. No matter what the epic tales would have you believe, strolling to such a den of savagery alone would be the height of foolishness. No. You shall need companions. And you shall need the training we here at the Hall of Novice could provide. I strongly suggest you study the fundamentals of group combat before continuing on your mission. The smith here oversees the training schedules. Speak with him and you can register the exercise tailored to, tailored to your particular field of expertise. When you have mastered all the map, so all our masters have to teach, then it will be time to head north once more. Report to the Yellow Jacket Scout at the mountain of Sasha Sigrat, and you will furnish you with the details of your duty. Cool. Oh, it bugged out because I had already finished those things. I think. It's a pleasure to see you again, Faith. You must be here to put your training to the test, yes? I am, of course. Always happy to impart my wisdom should the need arise. What do I do with my hands when no healing is needed? <laughs> when you've healed all there is to heal, then there's no time to weave in some offensive magics. But keep an eye on your companion. You should not be blasting if someone is bleeding. Yeah, I've already done this. Cool. Head north! Yeet. Cat gizzy, gazillion? <gasps> Fat chocobo, look at him! Mwah. 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 I love him. He's like, give me that green, I wanna eat it. Also today I found out, Jada doesn't just not like lavender, she doesn't like any ointment on her neck. It's like, she's just like me with lotion. Like, like, um, not suntan lotion. Sunscreen? I hate sunscreen. It feels disgusting and it makes me like... <laughs> so... It makes me laugh that Jada is like, I put that ointment on her neck and she's like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Please tell me you're here on the yellow jacket duty and not some daft sought out for a stroll. I can't take any more of the blasted waiting. You are! Thanks to gods. I assume you already know about the ship. Seen slipping around this Isles of Umbra. We've been on the lookout for pirate activity ever since the vessel was sighted. Thinking your crew of cutthroats might have a den nearby. Someone received the word the men of questionable quality had been seen passing in and out of Sasasha here, we weren't entirely surprised. I've yet to see them for myself, but it long belongs to those fishback fancy serpent reavers. Well, you can manage in the panic it'll cause. The kidnapping are still fresh in people's minds. Anyway, the task is to poke around in the caves and find out exactly who we're dealing with. While you do that, I'll keep... I'll be keeping watch out here. Praying you don't spot any blue face tattoos. Blue face tattoos? Use the duty finder to enter Sasasha. Oh. Oh, this is a dungeon. Okay. To add to the challenge in this raid, sir, numerous requirements. Yeah, Birch, if you want to do raid, feel free to join. Also, any of you guys, obviously, um, we're on the primal servers, so if you are here and want to play, you're welcome to. Oh. One of these is selected still. Hold on. Adventurers in need of healer. Duty roulette. 
Bonus experience and guild will be awarded to compensate for your discrepancy between character and duty levels. Have I not done this one? Ah, that's why it's marked. Got it. Battle Hall. What's this do? Hopefully this isn't going to take me to fucking go Golden Saucer afterwards. It is. Fuck! Oh, thank God. It just brought me back. I don't want to do this. What's a duty roulette? Let's see. Immense. Oh, I thought that person's name was Diphthera. Oh, I did this before. Why did it want me to do it again? Let's go capture the guild turtle. Oops. Shit, wrong button. Wasted my swift cast. I'm strong button. Leon Lufain. Herb patch. What's that for? Use fire sprite cores to light the herb patch. Oh. Oh. I didn't notice that last time. That's kind of cool. Time to go. Oh, you want to know. Uh, uh. Oh, do you roulette? Okay, it's because I only have one class. That's why. I get it. I get it. Bartholomew Orn. Big gumbo. Doom, 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 doom. Pirates. Doggo. Ew. Slimy fish things. Your jellyfish? Floating fire air? Air fire? Oh, this is a whole dungeon, huh? We might be here for a while. You're gonna get yourself murdered if you keep going that way. memo. Well, I'm getting that. Is it 
nothing? Okay. Cave Aurelia. Eat my heel. Can zoom. I'm helping. Man, this heals for almost his whole life. Holy crap, I just realized that. Overtime. Oh god. That's kind of crap on me. Yep, we're d wow. 30 minutes over time. Didn't realize that. It's fine. Oh, I attacked the clam. Ugh. Whoa. What just happened? What? Stay away from me, crab. Raptor foam. Or, or did that say raptor form? Kill the clam. Why are we killing the clam? Activate the coral trigger. Bunch of question marks here. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Do the completion requirements change? Every <gasps> every um run? Cause that'd be kinda cool. Target the other one. Jeez. trying to do like a life tap move it's funny okay he's taking demagi also this says it should heal for 450 but he's only down oh god it's not healing him fully See, like, it says he has 467 life, but it doesn't heal for 450. I guess the potency isn't how much it heals for. What's the treasure coffer do? Oh, 450 is your stat. I do have it as soon as... Why? Oh, 
Oh, you have to loot. Ah, uh, great. You have to loot that individually? That sucks. You can assume the paralysis off my tank. How come I don't see it? It faded. Oh. Okay, so I'm... How do I know the difference between a buff and a debuff? Is Are they different colors or something? Because I just thought everything that showed up here was a buff. I'm going to touch this coral formation. Find a switch. I'm not going to press it because I don't know what it's going to do. Poison. Oh man, I wish How do I make it so I Ooh. So I know if it's a, a buff or a debuff One that can be so we'll have a blue line over on top of it Okay, so I'm not seeing it Oh, this one. Okay, I see it. I see it. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, no fucking up my teammates. Okay, so I actually need to focus on this bit a little more. Hell yeah. I'm becoming a healer. Added to the loot list. Agreed. Oh. oh. So can you can is the loot list something you can look at at the end of the dungeon or something? Should have blinded this dude. I didn't see there was a boss here. There you go. Now you're blind. For three seconds. Nope. Already broke. Wow, we murdered the shit out of him. This person is really low on magic. Murdered Shadow I or Shallow I Reaver. I thought I said Shadow Reaver. Oh, 
Dropped a key. Nice. Oh, we have limit break, which I also don't know how to use that. I I got a thing showing how to use it, but I didn't actually fully read it apparently. Key to the hole. Raising. Treasure. Those prisoners. Definitely need that. Wait. I can't wear a hat right now, can I? Nope. Hey Josh, how do you use limit breaks? Is it a is it a button I gotta press? Like is it a, a trait? Wow, we fucked him up. No chest. Oh, you're doing something. He's got a bird. <laughs> He's giving him moral support. Still not over. Get 
Get the bad doggy. Oh, gotta heal. I leveled in the dungeon. Huzzah. Scene? Ooh, the battle music. You surely spawn ground, Shawwalker. He's gotten gutted. You. Ecky. Unnatural ripples. Okay, I might want to stay away from that. Did that say immune? I wasn't paying attention. Oh shit, he's going hard. I really like the kineticism, the kineticness of this game. Oh cool. Definitely blinds him. It's super cool. Ah! Things popped out of the. Then he popped out of the ground, like daisies. Mm -mm. Oh, I was gonna say, how come everyone else did oppose and I didn't? I was just really late to the party. Neat. We did it! We did it, chat! I think the player common is right under loot. I can't see though. Like the loot button in the bottom right. Oh. Did not see. Oh, the player commendation. Yeah, so I misread that button originally. Yeah, that's how you commend people. I thought it was saying those are the people that commended me. It is not. Uh wait a minute. I did the duty. Why isn't it? Oh, it wants me to go all the way back here now. Okay. Is he above me or below me? I think it's above me. Someone saw my piggy and said piggy. Haha! -ha! It's you. I remember you. That's not me. Sorry. Or wait. Ah, such a task was on the books. Was mine. Was mine. I'm afraid this ship has already sailed, friend. Hi, it's me. Oh, uh, why you mean the adventurer who accepted the job investigating? So, Starsha? That's me. Uh, it would seem that ship has not only sailed, but now returns to harbor. None the worse for its voyage. A pity. We dragged our boots too long on this one. No matter. The wheel will turn and our chance will come. This guy is... This guy could just single-handedly smash the crap out of that gnome. You're right, of course. But there shall be no rest till we have attained our goal, lofty though it may be. Not a week to sleep, great leader. Just raspberry jam. Just... Our aim, lest you wonder, is to perform such feats of heroism as to earn a place in the songs of every air house in Eorzea. We mean to write a legend which will inspire adventurers as yet unborn to follow our shining example. Do you have such a goal? Large or small, it matters not. Only have a star to reach for, and you will reach higher. Purpose can sustain you through times of hardship. Keep your eye on the prize, and all the obstacles will become, will become, will be overcome in time. I can read. 
You would not think to strike the battle unclad, would you? Well, goals are as arms and armor for the spirit. I wish you fortune in endeavors, milady. Hey. Have a good one. Goodbye. Back then, are you? Well, your limbs and and a tail, a tail to tail, I'll wager. Hmm, fish packs. I there was thinking you'd only have to crack a pirate skull or three. Seven hells, you turn your back for five bloody minutes and the scaly bastards you've set up shop on your bleeding doorstep. Still sounds like you left them in pieces, so I don't suppose they'll be carrying out whatever mischief they was planning. Unless he was planning on feeding themselves to the fauna of Sustasha, of course. Anyway, all's well that ends well. On behalf of Limsa, I thank you for shedding some light on the mystery. You've lived up to your reputation, and I couldn't have asked for more than that. Now, I bet you're dying for a rest. But just in case you're not, I was wondering if you might be interested in taking on another job. It just so happens I've had a request from our sister guild in Gridania, see? Seems the forest folk are in need of some venturing, venturer, but can get things done. For them to ask for help like this, you bet. The task won't be no skip through a sunny glade. But after the way you dealt with them fishback infestation, I doubt it's anything you can't handle. Just shout when you're ready, and I'll lay it out for you. Sure. I can totally just teleport back there too. Sick. Did it. Look at my choker. Party finder, sick. And I leveled again. Ready to hear about the job then? Like I say, the request comes from a sister guild in Gridania. And that's all I know. But whatever it is you asked to do, I somehow doubt it'd pose any trouble for a adventurer has survived the bedlam of Sestasha. If you think you might be interested, you'll want to have words with Mother Mion and counterpart in Gridania. Good luck, lass. Easy clap. Return. It's going home. All right, let's go talk to her. Whee! Oh, I need to go talk. To, uh, do the amphitheater thing too. Guys, remind me to do that. Take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come to take your. Oh, it's you, Faith. It is so good to see you again. What's that? Your beta runs request, you say? The foul mouth rogue sends me word that an adventurer might be along for the job, and it turns out to be you. Well, this makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? With regard to the task in question. There's a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear the details and, all shall be, and I shall be brief. It's near the falls, cool. Ready for that briefing? Good, now then, here's the, story, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting you. Oh, beg pardons for interrupting you, but our need grows ever more pressing. Have none stepped forward. And good day to you, bow lord. Your need must be pressing indeed for you to honor us with a visit. The good news is your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last. And one who comes highly recommended at that. Hey, dude. I remember you. Well, if it's not a very old woman from all seasons, you certainly have a knack for appearing when you're most needed, Faith. I thanks for answering the call. Now, time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat into Gridani in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called the Tamtara Deepcroft. The place was once a Gamoran settlement, but the Gridanis have long interred our dead there. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been seen skulking about the deep crop, and with ever increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which sprung up prior to the calamity. These villains have proved themselves dangerous in the past, and we leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I wouldn't have dispatched my best men I would have dispatched our best men to scour deep crap with orders to flush the cultists out. Alas, the calamity decimated our ranks and the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the ex exile at bay. Since we thwarted their attack at the Guardian Tree, the birdmen have not allowed us a moment's respite. They have pro probed every ilm of our defenses in search of a weakness, compelling me to spread our forces far more thinly than I would like. The, the, the situation so being we have no choice but to entrust the task of dealing with the lambs of the Dalamud to others. Can we rely on you to handle this matter, Faith? I disagree to everything. You have my gratitude. Once you've seen you to your preparations, pray make your way to the deep prophet and identify yourself to the guard posted at the entrance. He will appraise you to the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. As a uh, fieldcraft leaves. There are however two main differences. You cannot begin a fieldcraft leave because you have a change to the corresponding class. Oh, you can't just accept a quest. Okay, good to know. I'll have to check that out some other time. Okay, where's this? the amphitheater he sits by the falls okay we shall check it out I hear water one of these guys whoa um i'm assuming it's not this person calamity salvager 
and reclaim. Nope. I represent the interests of nations and educating adventures on the technology available for strengthening bonds between them. To the end, I would like to introduce you to the Link Shell. The Link Shell enables you to communicate with those of our distance as if they were before your very eyes. You may have many as eight Link Shells open at any given time, allowing you to communicate simultaneously with any number of people. The only time your physical presence is required is, well, never. Would you like to give it a try? I can create a personal Link Shell for you now if you like. What's a Link Shell? Our chat groups. Oh. Okay. Nah, I'm good. It's way in the back. Not this Moogle, right? Will it show up on the map? Oh, achievement exchange. Okay. XXIX. Yo, that's 911. Is that a reference to Hercules? No, wait, no, it's not. IXII. -I, -I. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's an opposite of it. Okay. Uh, oops, I passed it. Master of the Rolls. Sounds like a, a baker's thing. You've accomplished enough feats to keep the bard singing for a lifetime last. Such an achievement shouldn't go unrecognized. And to that end, I'd like you to have this. Consider it a token for my highest esteem. You accrued achievement points. Your accrued achievement points have earned you an achievement certificate. Certificates may be exchanged for a special reward of your choice by speaking with jo Johannes. Or Jonathan. Uh, exchange achievement certificate. I only have four? Does that mean I only finish four achievements? Or do I gotta claim them somehow? That chocobo head. Ribbon. Accessories or other. Oh. Bunch of minions. Black chocobo chick! I love. Inquire within. Wild Rose Barding. Behemoth Warhorn. <gasps> Social system. Achievements. Here you go. Each time you earn an achievement, you will gain achievement point. These points can be exchanged for achievement certificates. Okay. So it's automatic. I says, wait. I have 245 points, but I have four achievement certificates. Are the points just a flex thing? These points can be exchanged for achievement certificates. Where? Let me talk to a man. Oh, I am. Exchange. Every achievement completed grants achievement points and accumulating a certain amount or a new achievement certificate. Certificates may be exchanged for special reward of your choice. Do they automatically get converted? I'm confused. Character. Incomplete. There's achievements with mount rewards. Cool. Okay. You automatically get them as you go through more of the game. Okay. So they must just automatically exchange. Then why do you even have two different forms? Log 20 times from level one to... How come I haven't gotten this one? How? Oh, La Lanasia. Reward, what is this? Well, how many points do you need for one certificate? I wish I would tell you that. I would love this fat head. Oh, he's adorable. Oops. Oh, there's some specific. That's cool. At least you know where... Yeah. I'm going off. Cool. All right. So I know I can come here. Uh, I definitely want a, a behemoth to go with my baby behemoth. Neat. All right. I definitely need to do this sleepy thing, though. So I think you can get the behemoth horn and death claw are two mounts. I think there are... Where is the one-eyed monster? I forget the name of it. Go. What? Um... Was there a death claw? I didn't see death claw in here. I don't see a death claw thing. Magitech death. Oh, oh, is that the big robot thing? Gotcha. Cool. Well, thank you, Panda, for helping me out. I greatly appreciate that. It helps out immensely. Um, let's see. Do I have any friendarinos that I might be streaming? Let me see. Oh, maybe we'll go send some love off to somewhere. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, let's go raid Sloth. Um, she's playing Witcher. Uh, she might be ending soon. Uh, she's ending literally right now. Um, okay, so maybe we won't <laughs> go raid Sloth. She's lovely bean though. Um, let's go raid. Actually, yeah, let's go raid my uh friend Sin. Uh, she's playing some uh, Valorant right now, but um, she's cool bean. Uh, she does some coding streams and stuff too. So get your raid messages out and ready. Let's go show her some love. Uh, super cool person. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys had fun. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps me out a lot. Let's you know what you're liking and what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt up shop. Donate to a rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. If you guys stick around for the raid, you get them sweet, sweet channel points. And you guys owe so much love to redeem. But uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Obviously, Jade is the sleepy one over there. She's ready for some dinners. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. You want some foodies? Are you hungry? Let's go get some food. Let's go get them.